Alida was a living, true hero. Well, as he was the only seventh stage person living the seventh stage realization, we don't really know until we're there. However, in saying that, the proof, if all of his writings and teachings is proof enough, then yes, he was a true living hero. He was never swayed. He remained steadfast. It's not an ego remaining steadfast. He was inherently steadfast. I love that word inherent. It's already the case. The seventh stage disposition is already inherently heroic, inherently at peace, inherently intimate. In communion with him, we also are that. One who has heard that it is the self-contraction that removes us from the seventh stage disposition of already happiness. We keep returning. It's a constant return. And so those of us who have heard and practice, we are heroes also because we are living our realization, although possibly not stable in that disposition, we are stable in that understanding, in that practice of returning to that which is always already the case. A true devotee, no matter what's going on around him or her, to distract him or her from that practice, remain steadfast in that practice. Someone who is as a skill, a carpenter, a cook, uh, a pianist, a surgeon, they are operating their skill without being distracted by whatever's going on around him or her. To remain steadfast is the heroics or the hero's destiny. Ongoing destiny. Satsang, divine communion, the constant returning to that due to one's realisation of this nonsense and its results, one remains in constant satsang. Oh. Cling, cling to the God man, cling to the agent, cling to your chosen Ishta. Be like glue, be a magnet.